before we begin this video, please subscribe right now and click the notification bell to get news on Asante Tech Kotoko. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Daily Porcupine, the ultimate Kotoko fan channel. If you are new here, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of next month. All right, um, today I'll be talking about our new striker Andy Kumi. He joined the team in the first training session at the Adako Jache training grounds at Inkumasi this morning. I'll also be giving you updates on Osman Ibrahim and also on Emmanuel Kereke. So please subscribe if you haven't. So our new striker Andy Kumi Francis joined the team today and he'll be training for the first time with them. So all smiles in his picture as he joined his team training for the first time at the Adako Jache training grounds. I think he will be a very, very good addition and I, I'm hoping that he turns out very good for us because we really need everyone to be at the best if we want to achieve our goals this season. So I'm wishing him the best for the second round of the Ghana Premier League. Then about Osman Ibrahim. Now about Osman Ibrahim, he's close to return because I think he started personal training and he hasn't joined the team at the training grounds at the Adako Jati training grounds but he started training last week. That's for what I know. He started training last week. That's personal training on his own and he's making efforts to come back to the pitch and join the team ahead of the second round of the Ghana Premier League. I think he, he scored two goals, right? He scored two or three goals so far this season. Yeah, two goals. Yeah, he scored two goals. One in, in our game against Nodibu FC away from home and one against Lagon Cities. I think it's against Lagon Cities. Yes, he scored so far, two goals so far. I, I think he'll be very, very useful when he comes back since we surely need men up front. Osman Ibrahim is close to come back. That is what I can tell you right now. But for Emmanuel Keke, Manuel Kereke injury situation is very different. He's had the same injury concurrently and he's trying to get past this injury because it has been disturbing him very, very well. Right now, they are not treating him in the hospital. He has um, resorted to uh, um, he has resorted to herbal and traditional um, healing process because right now he wants to make the injury go like i think it's in, in his knee he wants it to go permanently that is why he's resorting to herbal treatment traditional treatment he's currently at home undergoing herbal treatment from what i heard so um, i don't think he'll be coming back anytime soon probably in two months time or maybe ending of next month because um, kotoko added him in the ghana premier league squad for second period because they are hoping that he makes a quick recovery and join the team and help the team achieve their goals this season but if you're watching this please pray for Emmanuel Keke because it is very difficult to go through that kind of situation because you'll be injured at home watching your teammates train play in the Ghana Premier League while you're at home nursing an injury so if you if you have the time you can act, actually pray for him because he's really going through trouble times and he really wants to get back and start playing football for us and Tukotoko. so um, we should we should pray and hope he returns very soon before the season ends so i think that's all for today that's a quick update i want to give you on andy kumi osman ibrahim and imani K. I i would like to know your thoughts uh, subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell i think that's all for today if you haven't subscribed to that right now and hit the notification bell till next time guys goodbye